Number six. The temperature in Boston was negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit on Sunday at 1.10 p.m. It increased by 2 degrees every minute until 1.50 p.m. What was the temperature at 1.50 p.m.? So first, it's important to note that from 1.10 to 1.50 is 40 minutes. Each minute, we increase by 2 degrees. So we've increased a total of 80 degrees. If we start at negative 15, increasing means we're going up, so we'll add 80. And this gives us 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Number seven, parking in Laura's parking garage cost a $5.50 flat rate plus an additional $1.75 per hour. If Miguel has between $12.50 and $23 to spend on parking, how many hours can he park for? So let's start with the lower limit, $12.50. So he wants to spend more than $12.50. So $12.50 should be less than the amount that he actually spends. He's going to get charged a $5.50 flat rate plus $1.75 per hour. And this $1.75 is what's going to change depending on how long he parks. So it's what has the X with it. Getting the constants on the same side, we'll subtract 550. This leaves us with $7 should be less than or equal to 1.75x. Finally, dividing both sides by 1.75 gives us that he should park more than 4 hours. We also know that he wants to spend less than $23. So 23 should be greater than or equal to the actual amount that he spends, which is still 550 plus 1.75x. Subtracting 550 from both sides gives us 1750 should be greater than or equal to 1.75x. Dividing both sides by 1.75 gives us that 10 should be greater than or equal to x, so that he should park less than 10 hours. So he should be parking between 10 and 4 hours. Number 8. A student scored 70 points on a test that had 4 7-point fill-in-the-blank questions and 24 3-point multiple choice questions. The student answered one fill-in-the-blank question correctly. How many multiple choice questions did the student answer correctly? Well, he got a 70. And we know that he got one fill-in-the-blank question correctly. And we know that these are worth seven points. So he got seven points from that. The rest came from the multiple choice, which are three points apiece. So three times however many he actually got right. Subtracting 7 from both sides gives us that 63 is equal to 3x. Dividing by 3 gives us that he got 21 of the multiple choice questions correct. Number 9. A car rental business rents a compact car at a daily rate of $25.20 plus 20 cents per mile. Mike can afford to spend $48 on the car rental for one day. How many miles can he drive and stay within his budget? Well, he doesn't want to spend more than $48, so his actual cost should be less than or equal to $48. It's going to cost him $25.20, even if he doesn't drive the car anywhere, and then $0.20 cents for each mile. Since this is going to change depending on how many miles he drives, this will get the X. Subtracting 25.20 from each side to get the constants on the same side and the variables on the other gives us 2280 should be greater than or equal to 0.20x. Dividing by 0 0.20 gives us 114. See, he should drive less than or equal to 114 miles. 
Number 10. Francis's Cab Company charges $2.50 for a pickup plus $2 for every mile driven. How much would you pay to travel 32 miles? Well, first, you're going to pay $2.50 just to be picked up. Then $2 for the first mile, $2 for the second, $2 for the third, etc. So we'll multiply this by 32. Order of operations says to multiply first. So this is 64. And $64 plus $2.50 would mean it would cost $66.50 to travel 32 miles. Part B, how far could you travel for $85? This time we know the cost, but not the miles. So we're still charging $2.50 for pickup, and then $2 per mile. Subtracting $2.50 from both sides gives us that $82.50 should be equal to 2x. Divide both sides by 2. And we get that we can travel 41.25 miles for $85.